Hey guys, it's Jack Engineer here, and today we're continuing with, well, Space Agency, of course. Doing my little OCD thing here. Now as the game loads, here we are. Last time we kind of crashed into a planet for no reason. But today is the first part of two parts. And we're going to be sending some parts up into space to build a station to explore. And because I've been asked to, we're going to be doing it with real rockets just because we can. So I thought, what did they use to build the ISS? And it came to me. Proton. So we're going to be using this mainly to get things into orbit. Then we're going to be using other rocket parts to move them around in orbit. Such as the tug here. So, today, as I've already said, we're going to be building a... Thank you there, Jim. We're going to be building a sort of station type thing. And in the second part we'll be sending it off somewhere. Not giving anything else away. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you there, Jim. I really should use this rocket more often. It looks amazing. Well, I think it looks amazing. Wonder how powerful the second stage is going to be. Rolling. And about here, I think. And stage and engage. Okay, we're running out of fuel very quickly. Um, yeah, I think we'll make it. Roll over just to make sure. Uh, yeah, we'll make it. And there we go. Orbit. First piece. Release. Second stage. Same rocket, different rocket. Um. Really depends what we want to send up next. Well, I know what we want to send up next, so. Zoys? Just because we can? Small stages. Send up Zoys. Where are we? It is here. Here we go. Probably the most powerful second stage there is. And because no station is good without solar panels, send up some solar panels. Small. And lock fairing. And because this is how it was actually, the escape tower. Thank you there, Jim. Thank you again. So as you've guessed, UCAA are now using real rockets. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Engines, uh. Oh. All but one of our engines are firing. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Doesn't seem to be doing anything bad, so. If anything, our fuel seems to be going out slightly less. Maybe. Hmm. This will be interesting. Rolling. Uh, about there, I think we'll leave it. Thank you. Now, I don't really want to give too much away, but I still want to tell you a bit about what this is going to be. So the first part, as I've already told you, We'll be sending things up into space to build something. Not going to give too much away there. But, aside from that, there will be other things happening. 
such as what happens after this. Which, without giving too much away, hopefully, will be mostly to do with other planets and exploration. Have I given away too much? I hope not. No. Oh, this is going to be close, I think. Where is it? There it is. Switch. There we go. To a lower orbit. Let's get to there. How fast is that going? Oh, about the same speed. If we do this, we're speeding up on it, so... Lower orbit for us as well. Go back here. That's too far over. I need to... I'm going to have to send up some refuel modules for this as well. And back here, I think. And we'll speed up. And do that. And there we go. The first part of our station has power. Which is what we all want it to have. And now... Refueling. That's going to be an issue. So, another proton rocket. If you haven't guessed, we're going to be using that mostly for the medium sort of parts. Oh. I don't think we've actually got anything powerful enough to get that into orbit. Unless, maybe we could try this? Perhaps? As a real rocket. Um, that's not a real rocket. Mm, let, let's go with that. It. It's fine. Wait! Skylab! We can just use the same rocket for that. The Saturn V Skylab rocket. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, someone who does rocketry, I'm very, well, not rocketry at the moment. Of course. Oh, yeah, that'll get us into one. Here we go. Skylab rocket. Or the Apollo 5, number 14. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, ah, engines. Launch. Now we get to the countdown again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, engines, four, three. Two, one. Now between now and next episode, I'm going to do a bit of tinkering with the space station. So that we just move around the modules to make it look better. And maybe add some more things. Which, staying true to series two, we'll try and use actual rockets. Because... That was pointed out to me by someone. I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. And honestly, I think that would be quite cool to do. So, Series 2 is all about real rockets. Oh, stage, 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 stage. There we go. Just as we go into orbit, I really do not like this second stage. Enjoying the music. And... now. Perfect. And I think we've just about achieved orbital velocity. There we go, see? No need to worry, it will definitely get into orbit. Who doubted me? 
I mean, seriously, who did doubt me? I want to know that. You're probably right to doubt me. Did only think 98% after all. Now we need to dock it onto our station. About there? Yeah, about there. And as it's a station, we're also going to need some form of communication with them. So, we're going to be borrowing some sort of satellite dish. Where is it? There we are. The antennae. Uh, medium. That. There we go. Thank you there, Jim. Thank you again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, engine, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you there. Thank you there, Jim. See, this is why I don't really like launching. It's a bit boring. That's why I try and use things in space. Which is what we're going to be doing, hopefully. So yeah, as I was saying, going to be doing a little bit of work off-camera. To, well, tinker with the station. To get it looking right. And I think to begin with, we've already explored the moon. I think I've given too much away by now. So I'm going to stop. But we're going to be exploring space. And we may have to dock with a refueling station in space. But for now, we don't need to. Maybe later. And space. I'm talking about now. So this needs to speed up to that bit slightly. Wait, if I move this down to pick up... Uh, going to give it some engines. Oh, come on. Seriously? How much do we need to raise it by? Hmm. Let's say... Maybe three bursts on the monoprop? Spin round and slow down. And slow down. A lot. Oh. We got it. That's good. So now that we're here, we can spin this around, go backwards slightly, and drop into a slower orbit, and a lower one. So we're essentially speeding up and slowing down at the same time. Yeah, I reckon that's about right. Maybe. No, it's too low. Uh, orbital mechanics in this game are very, very twitchy, if you've got more than one thing. And there we go. Still too low. I guess we can speed up. And go higher at the same time. So we're going faster, which is good. Wait, that's still too low. About there, maybe? There we go, perfect. Meanwhile, we're catching up to our satellite array. 
which will allow us to do that. Bring it on. Just a bit more. And we're coming in way too hot, so slow down. Retrograde monopropellant burning. Bit more prograde rocket. Motor. And... Slow down. And it's docked. Now I know it looks a bit ugly, but I'll fix it. Now that that's done, we can assemble one of two final design parts things. And to do this, good old spirit, going to be using the Saturn V. Because it's amazing. And everything. Yes, you've probably guessed exactly what it is we're doing. A lander, for now. And because we kind of need this crew up there, because, you know, do a lot of things with ro um, not rockets, sorry, with robots, but we need a crew, and Look at that rocket. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, engines, 4, 3, 2, 1. Everyone when they play this game wants to fly this rocket. I mean, seriously, look at it. It's amazing. And now we get to use it to land somewhere. Still giving away a bit too much there. Now it kind of doesn't matter how much fuel we use up there, because we've got a, well, fuel loader thingy. Fuel silo, that's what it's called. Gravity roll. It's been a while since I've used that term. Almost seems alien. Not the term, just saying it. Seems weird. And there we go. Want to get as much altitude and velocity as we can out of this stage. Because once we go into that third stage, that's it. It's highly unlikely that we'll ever get anywhere. And here we go. In space. Finally. Okay. Probably won't crash. Probably. Now we want to dock onto the side. Which side are the crew going to go on? I'll put them on the other side. I think. Burning down, down towards the planet, and release, about now. And spinning, oh, that's close. I just need to slow down a bit. There really needs to be a thing here that says our relative velocity to a craft of our choosing. That would be really helpful. About here, maybe? Start speeding up a little bit. Slowing down, sorry. You know what? I'm an idiot. Why didn't I just do this? Why not just tilt the entire station? that we can do that and just dock onto it sideways it's probably going to be close now and release I hope
bit more, bit more. Is it on the docking ring? It is now. How fast is that going? Wow. Got a lot of catching up to do. If we get it to the third green bar, that should be fast enough to dock. Three. There we go. No, we need to go faster. Damn. Both of these things are going faster now. Now we're using fuel from the lander. Great. This is totally what I had planned. Though it is actually working out pretty well, considering. Now the lower we go, the faster we go, so... Okay, that's gone in very hot, very hot. Slow down. Slow down a lot. There we go, that's docked. Where's the lander? Oh. It's all just a load of mishap and mayhem. There we go. It's nearly perfect. About this fast, maybe? Actually a bit slower. So what's the fuel in this thing looking like? That's not bad, actually. And... Bit more. Going a bit faster. Okay. Here comes the station. It's going to be on our blind part of the screen. So. Want to speed up about now. Zoom in a bit more. Speed up. Still travelling faster, so that's good. A bit of the engines send us forward, actually. I really need to get the Soyuz on this. And... We have dockage. Actually... I kind of like how this looks. I mean, sure, it's not pretty, but it looks pretty good, I think. And there we go. The first part of our mission, our voyage, our journey. And so, in preparation, it's about time we moved it out into orbit around the moon. Thing is, we are going to be using that as a little hop to where we're going. So, as it comes up, speed up a bit. And... Now. This is probably horribly off balance due to the weight. Well, it's not. It's actually pretty balanced, considering. This would be good. Now, we, tell, we see our little home going off into the far reaches of space away from us. With no idea what's going on or what will happen. And it is with that that I save... We go back to space. Oh, uh, you don't need to see that. It's fine. Yeah, you don't need to see that. It's fine. 
So where's our vehicle? We may need to send some sort of rescue mission to save them or something. I think they've disappeared. Send over the black arrow. No. We want to send up another proton. We need to get a large stage up there to find them. I think it's because they're moving is why it's not working. I shouldn't have saved, should I? Launch. Thank you there, Jim. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, engine. Four, three, two, one. Besides, this worked in our favour, so we needed to send another one of these up into space, so that we could, well, switch them over, because the other one's running a bit low on fuel. This may actually work out as planned. Keyword there being may and not definitely. So before we saved, how far was it from the moon? At 300. So by the time we get up there, it should have entered lunar orbit. Or crashed into the moon. Either or. I really feel sorry for those astronauts. Flying around literally with nothing to save them. And launch. Now you, the viewer watching this, I'm really bad with names, so... Somewhere in the comments, could you post a name that you think we should call our space station? For now, I've just been calling it... Space Station. But really, we need a better name, so... Post in the comments what you think it should be called. And whichever one's the best, well, that's what it's going to be called. There we go. And... So we send our second thing off to the moon. We speed up madly. I just heard a bit of thunder. Lovely. That was a lot of thunder. I think we really should spin around, just in case we crash into it. That could be bad. Very bad. Uh, where's a giant space station thing flying through space when you need it? Now, we want this to enter lunar orbit as well, so... We really should slow down a lot. And I mean a lot. Hopefully our station's already in lunar orbit. Oh, good it is. For a minute, then, I was worrying. And it's a good thing that that thing over there, that that station, has an antennae. So otherwise we would literally not be able to control this craft. Due to its robotic nature. And there we have it. Two things in orbit around the moon. Hopefully. I think that the best way to get this to stay there is to do this and get it to stay 
around the moon. By literally escaping from the moon. Getting out of its sphere of influence. All we need to do is get out of here. And I think I found some sort of bug. There we go. We'll be able to switch to it if need be. We hope. And there we go. That ends. What is? Part one. And next, part two. So for this, two part, hour long special. This is, this has been, Jack Engineer. And I wait until next time. Goodbye.